This is Baggy's View. Coming up, West Brom's mini slump continues. Hello and welcome to Baggy's View. I'm Paul Bradley and I'm joined in our Fort Dunlop studios by West Bromwich Albion correspondent Chris Lukoski. Hi Chris. Hi. Well, it was a 1-0 defeat at the DW Stadium. What was your verdict on the game? Two really, really poor teams, if I'm honest. Um, it, Albion, you know, they defended reasonably well. Not a great goal to conceded. That was a little bit of a slipper, but from the midfield upwards, there was nothing there at all. Um, Ozan Wingy persevered. He ran, a, he ran a lot, worked hard, but there was absolutely no support. And I, I think anyone who was there will think back to that incident where Peter Odom Wingy chased down a ball, cut it into the box and do a free Wigan defenders waiting, not a single Albion shirt. And that really summed up Albion's problems on, on Saturday. There were very lethargic results, uh, performance, um, no energy, um, not a lot of conviction in the midfielders. Uh, Brunt, Morris and Thomas all probably had their poorest games of the, the season so far, so not a great one. And there was a man that West Bromwich Albion played fairly well who scored the goal that won the game for, for Wigan. Yeah, Victor Moses was um, he, he was close to joining in January. Um, Albion had a bid, uh, made a bid for him. And I think had Wigan not come in as the only Premier League team to come in for him, I think he probably would have come to Albion and who knows who knows where they would have been now. But... Um, no, he's a you know he's a very quick and talented player, and Alvin just gave him that little bit too much room. Okay, and the, the mini slump has mm. continued with this game. That's three defeats in four now. Um, how worried should West Brom fans be, and how worried is Di Matteo at the moment? You know, I think uh, I think the expectation levels can be traced back to the Arsenal victory. I think many support, certainly people I spoke to, or. or just reading my Twitter feed there was a lot of expectation for the games at West Ham and Wigan and I think it, the manager seems to think it's a little bit misplaced his argument is that West Ham and Wigan are both established Premier League clubs why should Albion go there expecting to get anything which is a, a fairly reasonable comment to make but I guess when your team has gone to Arsenal beaten them and gone to Man United and got a really good draw then there is a, a there is a sort of hiring of, of expectation, but you know Albion just need to get b- back to doing what they were doing a few months ago, a couple of months ago. Um, I think that Blackpool result took a lot out of them. It, it knocked preparations for the Man City game out of kilter. That defeat hurt them because they lost Joseph Malumbu um, to to uh, ascending off, and and at West Ham they were worthy of maybe getting a draw if not a win. And of course they got the draw, but it was a very lethargic performance on Saturday, and it, it, it did look as if it had caught up with them a little bit. Okay. Well, after the game, we caught up with Roberto Di Matteo, and this was his verdict. Well, I think we had a, a very difficult two weeks, and this was the last game of uh, back of a uh, uh, difficult week again, and um, uh, we, we lacked a little bit of sharpness uh, probably in the second half, but. You know, our players have uh, put a lot of effort in uh, during this time, and it, it was very difficult for us. But we never, we never thought we were going to, you know, walk through this league uh, before that. So we knew it was, it's, it's going to stay difficult and be difficult till the end of the season. Uh, you can see anybody can beat anybody, and uh, we always knew that it's not something new for us. It's, it's, it's a shame that we lost against a main competitor. That's, that's the biggest disappointment today. That was Roberto Di Matteo. Well, that's all we've got time for this week. Chris, thanks for joining us once again. And thank you for watching. We'll be back again on Wednesday with more Baggers View.